everybody, welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here very quickly and show you guys some journals that I've just added to the shop. Um, I've got four that I've just added, and I just felt like I needed to do a quick flip through because these are very different to what I would normally sell, and I want to make sure that that is clear. Um, because I'm trying to clear out, and these have just been projects that have been laying around, and I just felt as though I need to get these finished and out and moving on. So they are not embellished the way, you know, as much as I would normally do. But I have um, tried to include some pockets, and you'll see by this one. These, This is an envelope journal. This one measures about... Um, Gosh, about six and a quarter by nine. So I've got two of these, and these have been collaged um, and Mod Podge. They're two signature on these two journals, and I will just very quickly try to flip through. I may have to do this in two parts. Um, I've not added ephemera to it. I just um, have got, you know... It's kind of like the bare bones uh, journal. Everything has been tea dyed, um, so there's no white papers or anything like that. And I have put a few little tuck spots and pockets, but they're just, you can see, these are just uh, ready for you to journal in and to add your own embellishments to. But, like I said, a few little pockets here and there. Here I've just included, you know, just various things because um, I am desperate to get my space tidied up and cleared out. I've got stuff that, you know, from leftover from kits and I just thought this was a really good way to, um, to go ahead and use those. And then here, you know, they're just various things. This is a little notepad that I had created on one of the uh, 100 day projects. So it's got a couple of pockets, a little little bit of paper in there. You know, just various things. Um, and if you don't want them in this journal, then, you know, obviously you can use them elsewhere. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, anybody that was interested in these could see that they, they are just ready for you to journal in and fill. So. So that being said, there's 120 pages in these because um, they're, they're two signatures. So they are big journals. And once you know, you've know you added some things, that's going to bulk up as well. Same thing here. Um, there's really not a lot of difference. Uh, this has got you know some purples in it. I love that seam binding. Um, so there's the back. Two signatures again, so the same number of um, pages. And then I've put another one of these pockets on here. And just different, you know, papers, but along the same lines. A couple of little things I've tucked in here and there. Book pages. Um, another little pocket here. Uh, a few little embellishments here that I had in my stash. And I just thought... I just got to get on with um, with this clear out. I love these pages. Um, these are antique papery if you're curious about that. Now the image, yeah that is as well. Now this is a um, Artie Mays collage paper. And just various, you know, scrapbook paper. Here I've got a couple of little notepads. So you can see um, they're just ready to go, um, but, you know, there's still, I take a lot of pride in, in my journals, and so the workmanship is, is still there, even though they're, they're not fully embellished, so I just wanted to show those. This one, um, this is an altered book, and I did one of these not long ago, and I named it Bluebell, and I had a lot of response for this, so... I thought, well, I've got all this, um, you know, these books for when you got them. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do another one. So that's another good use. 
some scrapbooking paper here so obviously you can add some more things. I've done some um, stitching throughout this to create some pockets and then this one is full of uh, vintage book pages, vintage papers. I uh, tried to keep everything in the nature theme on this particular one and I named this one um, a bouquet and it's in the shop as well so this has got um, the music sheet pocket. Now it is a little bit fragile because it's very old paper, so be aware of that. Some more uh, book page. And then the center signature is Edith Holden book page. So you can see, and what I've tried to do on this one, I think the only duplicate uh, book page would be Edith Holden because everybody loves Edith Holden pages. So, um, But the other signature, and let me just jump over to it. Um, actually, these are uh, some more floral. But I've tried to keep everything, you know, different. But as I said, everything kind of uh, floral and nature themed. So, and this is one of the Franken pages. I've stuck them in some tracing paper. Uh, I don't think there's any white paper in here. Here's another little pocket and an envelope that I created from the book page. And then this is another of the music sheet pockets. So. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that. I love this page. That's the center of the second signature. So that gives you an idea of what's in that one. And again, that's 120 pages front and back. So they are very big journals. Um, lots of writing space. Oh, I'm sorry. These are 108 pages. They're not 120. 108 for that. 120 for this one. And then the last one I've just added is this one. This is um, using the Nick the Booksmith course, and I've covered it with fabric, so it is really pretty. And then it's it's I've named this one Seasons because it's the um, stamp that I use has got all of the seasons. I love that saying. And then I've created a pocket. There's just one pocket here with a old button, and then a bit of. Um, uh, you know, one of the butterflies. So this is some sari silk that closed this. And in here I've just put a pocket on the front. Now on the back cover I've left that <clears throat> blank so that you could add something to it. This is three signatures. This is over 120 pages um, just by, you know, a few pages. So there again it's done some stenciling in here. This is a double pocket that I created. Um, here's a, du a double pocket. Uh, my thing with this was I was just trying to take things that I, you know, I've, I've done some of these projects in my Create With Me videos. So here and there I've tucked them in, but I still would consider this a, um, a naked or bare journal. Uh, because I have not embe embellished it to the level that I normally do. Now here you've got another pocket. Um, this is another, this is an envelope, but I've collaged it to make it into like a pocket. So I'm not going to go through the whole journal, but this will, you know, gives you an, a good indication of what the other um, signatures are like. And all of these I have torn, um, so they've got the nice edge on it. You've got a nice mix of papers from my stash. This is some avocado with the lace uh, dyed paper. It looks beautiful. And then these are just little tuck spots that I've been playing around with. I thought I would add those in there as well. So, um, yeah. If you're interested in these, check them out because um, I don't think these will last very long. I've priced these, you know, to just, just get, get them out um, because I am working on this uh, clear out in the, the room and I'm going to try to be uh, get my room redecorated and hopefully I can share with you guys a little tour of my studio soon but um, lots of work to do in the meantime so thank you guys for stopping by and if you got any questions just message me you can contact me either 
um, through Facebook. The easiest way to contact me is on my website. There is a contact form. I'm always um, very quick to try to respond to that. Obviously, there is a time difference, me being in the UK. So, <clears throat> but normally I get back right away. So if you've got any questions or, or want to talk to me about a custom order, just use that form on my website and I will get back with you as quick as I possibly can. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.